Hello everybody, welcome back to another Bitcoin update on this video. I'm going to explain what's happening right now for the Bitcoin price because guys, you can clearly see we're moving, we're still moving sideways, but currently we have one pattern that's forming the one hour time frame, which is a symmetrical triangle. Uh, I'm going to zoom in a very few uh, to show you exactly what it is. So today we're going to see in a very short term what's probably the next move in a short term and also we're going to see in the mid long term where I'm going to get, uh, because you can clearly see we are still forming this rise watch pattern and I still believe we're gonna get to this technical price target anytime soon uh so guys on this video we're gonna see all this technical price target my my personal targets we're gonna speak a little bit for the bottom for bitcoin or not and then we're gonna see guys some from, from fundamental side what's happening with binance fqd and why this can actually can collapse the crypto market even more than the, the usual from fundamental side i mean not only from the technical i mean when we can have a massive crash from the fundamental side so guys if you would like to know all these things you have to stay tuned until the end of the video and before we jump to more analysis let's mass 100 likes on this video because with this way supporting me so much could in this journey with the very simple process of daily like daily comments share your friends you actually help me so much to push the video to more people via youtube algorithm which helped me a lot and appreciate you for this help from the bottom of my heart a big thank you to all of you i'm chris uploading everyday's crypto videos teaching you how to make smart trades or the crypto market and stack of money if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon to do not miss any of my future trades and let's start guys with a uh, one hour time frame because we form here in the short time frame this uh, symmetrical triangle which probably gonna lead us to the next short move in a short term okay but which gonna play a big role if this move is gonna be to the downside so uh, let's see carefully you can see very clearly a beautiful formation of symmetrical triangle within one hour time frame as you can clearly see a move b move c move and we're waiting that d move because in that last hour candle we have very uh bearish momentum and guys if we're gonna see actually a continuation to this rejection to the support area we're probably gonna have a breakout to this support and we're gonna experience an uh, even bigger rejection of the price because i'm gonna give you right now the uh technical price target of this symmetrical triangle of course guys symmetrical triangles got two technical price targets it, de it depends where you're gonna see the breakout if you're gonna have a breakout to the upside we're gonna have a technical price target to the upside if you're gonna have a breakout to the support area of the symmetrical triangle we're gonna have a technical price target to the downside so i'm gonna tell you the scenario because you can see in the last hour candle we have some selling pressure here uh, but let's see how it's gonna perform in the next coming hours so we're gonna have actually the breakout at this area at around $16,772 we're gonna have a technical price target under uh, this massive orange line which is the $16,572 and the technical price target guys of this symmetrical triangle is around $60,550 which I believe i highly believe we're gonna reach that very very easily and of course guys if we're gonna have a breakout or either even to this very very strong orange line which is the support of six thousand five hundred seventy two dollars i believe we're gonna crash even further more almost instantly to the next level of support which is the sixty thousand two hundred seventy seven dollars so this is the scenario of a breakout on this symmetrical triangle right now let's say um th let's assume the scenario that uh we're gonna have a breakout to the upside breakout of this resistance we're gonna have a technical price target exactly at seventeen thousand dollars which i believe it's a uh, even a possible scenario but if you ask me to tell you a percentage i believe 60 percent we're gonna have a breakout to the downside and um 40 percent to have a breakout to the resistance but okay as you know whatever it happens in a short term for me personally it doesn't matter because in the mean long term i'm very very bearish and i believe no matter what after the jeremy powell speech on in the fomc meeting if not uh in one two weeks probably in the q1 we're gonna experience a massive crash so you can understand for me uh, that uh short term means absolutely nothing so without losing more time i would like to show you really really fast the daily time frame because you can clearly uh understand that here we have even more massive uh, pattern that is forming the daily time frame and you can understand that this is more serious and more reliable rather than the small ones that's why uh, most of the times i'm showing you the bigger time frames that we're forming and you can see right now on the screen that we have here a technical price target at around fifty thousand and eight hundred dollars i have 
uh, most of sub subscribers right now know that I'm telling that for the new viewers um, I'm repeating the technical price target of this Rising Watch pattern which is the $15,800 and if you ask me when and how we can get to that low level guys first we need to actually surpass this massive uh, orange line and if we're gonna get a breakout to this massive orange line we have another uh, support area at at sixteen thousand two hundred seventy seven dollars which if also if we're gonna break this one we're gonna get straight to this sixty thousand dollars because this uh second uh support area guys is very easy to break and every time we're breaking this sixty thousand two hundred and seventy seven dollars we always getting under sixteen thousand dollars so uh with that being saying you can understand that this technical price target is very easy especially if we're gonna break this sixty thousand two hundred and seventy seven dollars so guys let's focus right now for the binance uh with that old noise that's happening on uh on the crypto space as you can see that uh binance is probably on a pressure right now because uh let's read this isn't just a binance fud if the rule ftt to be a security bnb could face regulatory pressure as well nothing to do whether the binance is resolved or not is just the current regulatory environment due to fallout from the ftx and guys I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna read you something more and I'm gonna tell you exactly what I believe. Remember who else does buy and burn. Set your personal opinions aside and protect your portfolio first. CZ is not responsible for feeding your kids, you are. FTT's buy and burn program was also mentioned. This initiative used by many other exchange tokens is aching a stock buyback where revenues from FTX would would repurchase and burn FTT, thus increasing the, its value. So guys, you can simply understand that uh, Binance and F, uh, FTX have lots of similarities on this current situation. And if actually um, Binance have the BNB token as a security token, probably it's gonna get a very very big pressure. And that pressure probably gonna create lots of fear on the market and with that being said, we're going to have lots of sellouts from the Binance or uh, from the probably investors or even um, Binance can uh, actually pause the withdrawals and create some fear of the market. And without all that noise around the Binance, probably will have a massive fallout of the BNB token, which you see, you can understand that this, this is going to be really, really bad for the reputation of crypto out there. Uh, of course, guys, this not, has nothing to do with the FTX, but it's going to create some fear. Okay, FTX was committed a fraud. Okay, Binance, it's not committed a fraud. It's just uh, having the BNB as a um, security token if, uh, if they have the BNB as a security token. Uh, probably they're going to get some pressure as well. Uh, this is our hypothetical, but... It's not like the FUD that most of our uh, Bitcoin bullers right now are uh, talking to you for this. It can actually lead us to a trouble and that trouble in the current situation will lead us to probably a crash under $1,000, uh, over $1,000 for the Bitcoin price, let's say, or even more, or $2,000 crash for the Bitcoin. So that's why it's a very, very serious situation that we should pay attention. Of course, have in your mind that this Binance, it's not insolvent, okay? It's not committed a fraud like FTX. This is what I would like to tell you guys. Of course, as you can understand from here, uh, don't believe guys. Personally, I don't believe the exchange. It's like the banks. If you believe the bank, okay. It's like you believe the bank. I don't believe the bank. I don't believe the exchanges. All of those things are very centralized and they can easily manipulate by the government or whatsoever. So uh, I, don't, I don't like this uh, kind of manipulation from a higher power okay uh the strength is in our hands that's why i'm personally i use our ledger and I, ke I keep all my uh portfolio under my control and i don't let my future and my control under uh to a centralized authority okay this is what i would like to tell you guys on this video let me know down below in the comment section if you enjoyed the video and do whatever question or concern you have i'm gonna answer it down below uh i'm gonna reply everything and see you guys tomorrow with my fresh updates until then your boy quiz out bye